last year, I have gone back and I have learned a lot more about the assassinations that were such a powerful impact on our generation. So, yeah. you know, I w- had always been interested in Forrestal's assassination. Yes. yes. And, <laughs> and David Martin is going to be joining us on the Solaria Reports. So I, I was a partner at Dylan Reed and Company. I was there for 11 years. And there was a huge portrait of Forrestal in the dining room that used to mm-hmm. always kind of stare down on us. Mm-hmm. And Forrestal was a very real presence at Dylan Reed, and his story was a very real presence. He was president, he was a poor boy. Mm-hmm. He'd gone to Princeton, done very well, got a job as a bond trader, entry mm-hmm. level position. Dylan Reed worked his way up to president, which is very impressive, mm-hmm. particularly at that time. And, you know, it was owned and controlled by the Dillon, so you didn't just get to run it unless you were pretty amazing. And then he became Secretary of the Navy and led the building and operation of the Navy during World War II. That was when the Secretary of the Navy was a cabinet-level position. And then, after the war, we had the trip to Antarctica with Byrd. Right. High jump. Right. And we had Roswell. Right. And he led the effort to write the 47 Act, the National Security Act. Act. That's right. And became the first Secretary of Defense. Defense. Yep. And then was pushed out. By Truman. Tremendously, and then assassinated. And they made it out to be he was crazy, and they, you know, said he committed suicide. And the, the debate has always been what killed Forrestal. Yes. Was it... The fight over Israel, was it the Zionists or was it the black budget? Because apparently Forrester was arguing for transparency on the black budget. Yes. 